Hey everyone, my name is Josh, and in this video, I'm going to go over how to write a SEO report for your client. So, why is this always important? Well, it should be a no-brainer that you always want to show that you're honest with your client and that you're actually providing two things. One, you're keeping your word of what you're going to do, and two, you're providing value. So, what I do is, all I do is basically just open up a Word document. Uh, I've seen people say, okay, you use this uh, automated website that will just you know punch in your date or whatever it, it's, it's silly right and then it automatically sends to your like come on dude is it really that hard to write up a document and send it on an email All right, unless you got like 90 clients you'll be fine doing this it takes like what three minutes if you have a template it takes like two and a half minutes right uh, that's assuming you have your numbers right right and the way you get your numbers right is by taking notes while you work so I do this with some of my clients some of them I don't uh, just because um, I don't do that much for some clients, whereas I do a lot more for uh, other clients. So with the ones that I do with you know a lot more, I always want to keep a better track of what I'm doing. Some of the other clients, it's more of just um, you know um, passively ma doing maintenance work. So I, I don't really include that much detail for that. But for this, you know, purchase domain, right? Uh, and if you're working on an hourly basis, you know, include the time, I guess, uh, the date and stuff like that. But if you're working on a month-to-month -month basis or year-to-year -year kind, of, however you you know, if it's a bigger project base doesn't really matter too much the date of when things occur I just keep the date just because it looks better sometimes sometimes I don't but anyway the key component is the description that what you did task completed important numbers what needs to be done what the client can do and verification right uh, verification honestly isn't even that important it just looks cool <laughs> in my opinion but anyway all you're going to want to do in for the description is just write out what the purpose of this report is, right? You don't got to get fancy. You don't got to get that fancy, right? It's just the purpose of this document is to report the work that has been completed over the past X amount of days. In this case, let's say 30 days in an effort to increase online visibility. That's it, right? That's all. That's it. That's it. Nothing complicated. No half a page description, right? It's just simple like that. Second, task completed. So, you know, we purchased a domain, pest controllers, purchased premium hosting, installed WordPress, all that stuff, right? Um, you can go, depending on how much, what you want to list is up to you. I usually just list um, not that much jargon. Sometimes if you're in a rush, you know, maybe a little bit of jargon helps. But um, generally, you should be providing enough value to the point where you just got to list like five, six things. And then that's it, right? Keep things simple. Important numbers. You know, a client doesn't care about the bounce rate. They don't, uh, you know, a typical client, right? $1,000, $2,000 a month. They don't care so much about bounce rates, all this crazy stuff, right? Um, you can say more uh, more info can be upon request, right? Given upon request, whatever, right? 100 additional unique visits in the last 30 days. Website is now ranking for pest control, right? And sometimes if, it's, if you're just starting out, you might want to say uh, just ranking. But if they're, you know, rank four, position four, hey, Right, add that. But in this case, right, let's say assume that this page is on the this, this site is on the second page, so we don't include that. We just say it's now ranking, right, or it's indexed. Two email leads, 200% from previous month increase, right? That's what they care about. The leads you get them, the calls they get. This you don't have to add, but this is just like numbers to keep in mind. You know, number of visitors, new clicks, keywords, new email leads, conversions, right, phone calls, stuff like that. If you have phone call tracking. Next, what needs to be done? You know, all the stuff that needs to be done in the future, right? You know, phase two, okay. Keyword research. You should probably do your keyword research beforehand, but I just put that there for now. Google console setup, analytics integration, and analysis or something, right? Right, again, the client doesn't care so much about the numbers, like the, the technical numbers, because they trust that you're going to do it, right? That's why they hire you. What client can do? You know, okay, well, we need a 30-second video. Okay, so, you know what, because I go above and beyond my client, I might say, hey, you know what, I know a videographer. Let's go, you know, I can put you on to him or her or whatever, right? Submit all images for organic products and verification. All you do, sign your, you know, give the, your autograph, sign your name, managing director, and that's it, all right? doesn't get too complicated. You just put the, when it was made, the client name, their company, website. You know, you, you can put the phone number and the email, all that, but you know what, I just like keeping things simple. No need to make the whole SEO process more complicated because a lot of business owners already don't even know what you're doing. They're barely, <laughs> unless you're you know you're you're a really good salesman or you got a good sales team, they're probably just putting your bet their money and hoping that it's going to get something. So don't make it complicated, right? Just show that you're doing two things: keeping your word, saying, "Hey, listen, Mr. Client, got you. I did all this stuff, right? I got you," and that I'm providing some value for your company, right? That's the technical stuff. They trust you with. So just show that you're doing your job. That's it. Doesn't have to get fancy. Doesn't have to get uh, complicated. 
And yeah, if you want, I can just, you know what, I'm going to just leave a template of this uh, in the description. You guys can copy it. I really don't care. Anyway, I hope this video uh, helped you kind of navigate to uh, on how to, you know, give a report or whatever. And I wish you good luck with your SEO and your marketing efforts. That's all for today. Bye.